SQL Source Control does a great job of enabling source control for your database schemas. When you deploy changes committed to your version control system, the SQL Compare engine generates a deployment script to update the target database. In some circumstances, certain schema changes also require data changes, which could result in data loss. We've spent a lot of time in recent months trying to solve that problem for users, and we're excited to say that this release finally cracks that problem. In this video, I'll show you how you can use migration scripts to override the script generated by the SQL Compare engine, adding your own SQL to the deployment. In this example, I'll use a migration script to safely split the data in a name column and copy it to two new columns, first name and last name. Without a migration script, SQL Compare would interpret this change as a drop and create, and lose the data in the original column. The migration script copies this data to the new columns before SQL Compare drops the old column. I'll perform the changes on my development environment, Torca Dev, and check them into Source Control. I'll then hand over to my colleague, Will, who's responsible for deploying those changes from Source Control to our production environment, Torca Prod. If I select from the customers table, you can see that we've got all our customers in a single name column. This is the data we want to split into two new columns, first name and last name. The first thing we need to do is create those new columns. We're creating the columns to allow null entries, because we won't be moving the data until we commit our migration script. Now that I've executed that query to create the new columns, I'll commit the changes to source control. I'm separating the steps in this example into multiple commits. That way, the migration script is only used to handle the data change, and SQL Compare handles all the schema changes. This is called a data-only migration, and in most cases is the safest way to perform a migration. Now that I've committed the new columns, I can go ahead and write a migration script to move the data. I'll give the migration script a description so that my teammates can see what the script does. Now I can write the script to copy and split the data. This script should update the first name and last name columns by copying the data from name and splitting the values where spaces occur. This demonstration uses a simple example with a handful of names. However, when a more substantial amount of data is involved, a more complex migration script would be necessary to handle the data. Now that I've got a migration script to handle the necessary data changes, I'll commit it to source control. Using separate commits, make sure that the migration script runs after the new columns have been created, but before the name column is dropped. Next, I need to push the commits in my local repository. Now that our migration script is in place, I can go ahead and drop the original name column. I'm now going to execute that script to clean up the schema. Then I'll commit the changes to source control. SQL Source Control warns us about data loss here because we're dropping a column that contains data. This is normal behavior. The migration script will copy the data before the column drop, so I can ignore these warnings. Now that I've made the changes, I'll hand over responsibility to my colleague Will. He'll make sure the changes are deployed to production. Now that Owen has made changes to the development environment, I can deploy those changes to the production environment. We're using a Team City build server and SQL CI to run the build. We're using Octopus Deploy with SQL Release to deploy. Team City has picked up the changes Owen has committed, but the SQL Compare schema validation has failed. I'll review the build log to see exactly where the build failed. It looks like there's some invalid SQL in the migration script Owen committed, which is highlighted here in the build log. I'll need to fix this before the build goes ahead. First, I'll load up my test environment. Because Owen committed the migration script to source control, I can pick it up here on the migrations tab. Here's the migration script. I just need to edit the script now to fix the typo in the update statement.
This is a local copy of the migration script. I need to commit the changes to source control before my team and the build server can pick up the new script. Team City has started a new build including the corrected migration script. Now that the build has succeeded, Octopus Deploy will deploy these changes to our production database, Talker Prod. It looks like the new build has successfully deployed to production. The schema changes have deployed successfully to the production database, and the data has been preserved.